So that's free money for everyone. And I think your audience can do this live. You know, people have done this. You, people can look on Reddit, Google. There are what we call evergreen trades. Tim Tan is actually a biscuit. So you're my sister, Mia, yeah. right? And my name is Mia Tan. Meet my brother, Tim Tan, from Point Five. Just joking, completely unrelated. That's a joke. So. We're not related. A CEO and co founder of CoinFi, and a little bit of background about myself. Um, I started in institutional finance. I've been working there for 15 years before moving over to cryptocurrency. I think a lot I of people are feeling a lot of pain in this market where because it's gone down, right? And I think everyone down. makes money on the way up. No one knows how to make money on the way down. So predominantly people make money from what we call in institutional finance beta, which is effectively the market going up. So when the market goes down, people obviously feel a lot of pain, but I think there are what we call evergreen trades. Um, they're called relative value trades. When you're not betting on the direction of a coin, but you're betting on the price of one asset or one coin relative to another. So I think what an uh, interesting example of that, um, and I think your audience can do this live, is with Tether, I think there's a lot of press out about it, whether it's real or not, you know, for a particular period of time, about two or three weeks ago, Tether really weakened and it went down to about 92 cents in the dollar. Is Tether is still trading as of now at about 2% discount to USD. So what people can actually do in order to make money on this relative trade, they can use any particular exchange where they can convert fiat into crypto. So for example, Gemini, Coinbase or Kraken. So they transfer USD onto one of those exchanges. They go and buy Bitcoin. And then what they do is they transfer Bitcoin from that exchange called a Kraken onto Bitfinex because Bitfinex obviously is closely associated with Tether. The Bitcoin price on Bitfinex is actually at about a 2% premium versus all the other exchanges. Premium meaning higher. So what they can do is they can sell that, lock in that 2% risk-free gain into US dollars, and they can wire out that money from Bitfinex into their own bank account. And you know, people have done this. You people can look on Reddit, Google. It can take you know between one week to three weeks. But I think what people don't know is they can actually also pay an additional fee. Um, I think from memory about 0.5% and they can get that Y within 24 hours. So if you want to turn this fast within 24 hours, you can effectively um, pay 0.5%. Your return goes down from 2% to 1.5%. So if you do $100,000, it's relatively, I wouldn't say risk-free. I don't think anything's ever risk-free, but it's relatively low risk. You go buy it on Kraken, transfer to Bitfinex, transfer the money out and you've made 1.5%, which is about 1500 USD. So that's free money for everyone. Uh, low risk money, I wouldn't say it's free. Yeah. I think from, from learning from the markets last year, you know, nothing is ever completely risk free. And I think, you know, being serious, like with investment, you know, buying crypto coins and things like that, it's always a balance of risk versus reward. You know, how much money can I make versus how much risk? I think that's generally a good lens to look at investments or you know, even generally making decisions in life. Yeah. Tell us what does CoinFi do? Sure, so that's a great question, me. You know, we're working on a few, and the two that are currently about to get released, then people can sign up on our website for this. Um, the first one is uh, CoinFi Signals that I think I'd mentioned before, where we ingest the entire Ethereum blockchain. We're looking at Ethereum transfers in and out of exchange to spot and correlate that to large uh, Ethereum price movements. The other product we have is CoinFi News, so we go and ingest all um, crypto news from all around the web, so it's in one area. So users who log in have an account on CoinFi, they can click on any particular coin and they can see all the news related to that coin. And also when they log in, they can see the top headlines for the day. So why is this useful? If you're um, someone who holds crypto, um, say holds uh, Bitcoin Ethereum, holds a few altcoins, and you want to know what is the news that's driving the market today, you can log in to our uh, platform and you'll be able to see the you know top headlines for today. We don't have a newsletter, but we also have what's called a personalized watch list. So people who go in to our system, they can tag what particular coins they own, and then they'll see the relevant news for those particular coins. Okay, so can you tell us your predictions of the market? Yeah. I think, you know, my experience, you know, being a formerly like professional trader is very, very difficult to pinpoint the markets exactly. So I'll say, I think some interesting facts on where 
potentially markets can go. Obviously, we've corrected very aggressively. You know, we're between 70 and 80 percent from the highs. And I think if you fundamentally believe in Bitcoin and Ethereum, like I do, at some point it will inflect. Right. The question is when. And I think you can look at a few catalysts. So on December 12, there's a listing of the Back Futures, which is. Um, it's a company, sister company um, of ICE, um, you know, who's involved with the New York Stock Exchange. They're listing their own Bitcoin futures. And if you remember last year with uh, when CME and CBOE listed the futures, there was a huge run up where people were trading into that event. So I think there's a possibility that we can see something like that happen again. And I think on top of that, you're starting to see more and more projects post ICO. I think obviously there are a lot that are very quiet, they haven't done anything, but there's also a lot of projects that are building legitimate product that are coming out with real use cases and as you see more and more positive examples of this I think you'll see confidence come back into the market and you know hopefully uplift price. Thank you Tim for today and it's very insightful and also thank you for sharing your low risk 2% gains <laughs> in this crypto market with our audience. You're welcome it was, it was great meeting and chatting with you Mia. If you guys got any questions for me you can join our telegram t.me slash coinfi uh, tag me with any questions and then um, I'll answer them.